Benchmade blades. When you hear the word Benchmade, you know quality. These blades are all new to their lineup you're about to see. We're going to cover six of them. And these are all 100% American made. Let's get into it right now. I'm with Derek. Derek, thank you for doing this. Hey, thank you. All right, so let's start here with this one and go right down the line. Sure, let's do each, that. Tell us about each one of these new blades. We're going to zoom in on that blade. All right. What do you got here? Brand we'll new to the line. We'll start off with the Griptilian family. The Griptilian family has existed for quite a while now for us in the Benchmade line. And um, we've expanded the family. So it, with the addition to the family is the new inline G10 handle scale version. Uh, these are dash ones essentially within the line. Um, featuring a cool gray G10 scale as well as a layer of blue inside to accent where the liners are. Uh, of course features our patent and access lock and we've upgraded the blade steel on the new Reptilian family. It now features uh, 20 CV uh, over 154 CM which you can still get in the regular Reptilian line. But with this uh, we've offered G10 in the past before but only in limited editions or special editions. Now it's an inline product. You can buy it whenever at any dealer. Um, it's going to be a great knife. Awesome some performing steel in terms of edge retention and corrosive resistance and uh, this is just a perfect EDC. Okay, hey, hold on to why would someone buy that over a different manufacturer? Well, uh, one, being our, our customer service, we stand behind every product that we create. Um, meaning, so, meaning the warranty. The warranty. Yeah, uh, tell so, me the, about it. so the LifeSharp warranty comes with every Benchmade knife. Uh, included is you can send your knife to us anytime, as long as you own the knife, for complimentary sharpening, cleaning, uh, small parts replacements. Uh, we can do. We offer blade replacements at a low cost. Um, of course, you know if it's broken within through misuse, we'll we'll charge a small fee to replace the full blade. Yeah, but good. you get a brand new blade for about $30 to $40. And so it's lifetime warranty. A lifetime warranty. Yeah. And it's transferable, so you sell this to your buddy, he'll be able to use that warranty just as and well. And this costs how much? About, what do you got? Uh, it's in the 200 ballpark, I believe like 210. Okay, great. What do you got here? That's a nice EDC. What do you got here? 490. So this is the 490 Amicus. Uh, this is going to be a really hot one for this year for us. Uh, a great EDC as well. Very thin profile, very light. If you ever used any of our uh, emissary series of knives, this is very reminiscent of that. If you grab onto this, you'll think of an emissary. But the difference is, this is a flipper assist knife, uh, also featuring our access lock. So here's the little flipper tab. All you have to do is first disengage the safety, flip it open. Super light, super quick, very intuitive in terms of how to open it, especially for a smaller knife like this. Very high bevel grinds for uh, great slicing action. And that steel is? This is a S90V. So S90V we've featured in our 940-1 as well as our 44-1. It's been a really good performer in terms of edge retention, if not one of the best edge retention steels that we have. And the ballpark price on that? Ballpark price for the 490 will be about 250 yeah, And that features reasonable. aluminum That's handles. Nice Wonderful. What do you got here? This is our uh, last collaboration with Shay, uh, with Warren Osborne. So it is a, another flipper. So this year we've done a few flippers. This one in particular, uh, Warren Osborne unfortunately passed away a couple weeks ago. Um, and hopefully we do him justice with this last collaboration. Uh, so the 928 is a tactical tie monolock folder uh, with adjustable lock face. So half of the handle is titanium and the other half is G10. So it looks like a really big knife, but uh, and it is a big knife. However, the weight wise, uh, it's really deceiving. It's a lot lighter than you th anticipate it to be. The, uh, the steel? The steel is also CPM 20CV, brand new steel where uh, we've been using in a few of the new knives for 2016. Great edge retention, like I said, and great corrosive resistance. Tell me about that again, titanium on that side? So this is a titanium side, so the it's, we call it titanium monolock, so it's essentially a liner lock. Uh, so think of it as a big slab of titanium bending over, and that's what's holding your blade in place. So very dependable, very strong. What does that cost? This will run you about 295. All right, Benchmade. Now this is really cool. Check this out. <laughs> this, of course, uh, last year we released the Pagan. Uh, this is the extension of the Pagan family. This is the 3321. So 3321, as opposed to 330, uh, 3320, features a single edge instead of double edge. So if you live in Texas, you can own this out the front 
now. Uh, previously, double-edged blades still last. I checked was still illegal in Texas, but this will definitely help uh, any Texans that want to carry a bench made out the front. This is uh, totally compliant with some state laws. Don't take my advice. I'm not a lawyer. No. That's just what I know. <laughs> but same guts as our as our popular Infidel, which has been around for a while. Same mechanism, very reliable. Uh, 154 cm steel, which is a great everyday carry steel, uh, and just a smooth aesthetic, great for everyday carry. Great, and that costs about what? About 435. Great. Now this thing is really you. interesting. So this is new in our Hunt Line series. Um, <coughs> It's called the 15100 Nestucca, so it's based off an Alaskan Ulu. Just a little background on the Ulu. Uh, the Inuits used it as kind of a utility tool. They did everything with it from processed food, processed game, to also cutting hair. Um, this, ours is, has a little more intention of using for utility like hunt, uh, but you can use it however you want. There's a lot of crossover, so it's not dedicated just to hunt. You but mentioned you use this in your kitchen. I use this in my kitchen for myself, so <laughs> I had a really bad hunt season. I didn't see anything, so uh, I was relegated to using mine in my kitchen. But how are slicing tomatoes? Slicing tomatoes. <laughs> actually, slicing vegetables because of the, the, the radius of the blade, I get good rocking action. It's quick, it's fast, but for skinning, you can actually, because you have so much edge, you can be long sweeps, big sweeps as opposed to a bunch of little cuts that you'd have to do for more uh, traditional style of blade. Okay, and what kind of steel is that? This is S30B. So S30B we use exclusively in our hunt line in addition to other knives within the Benchmade family. But S the hunt line just uses S30B. This is a huge chunk of it. Uh, great corrosive resistance, awesome edge retention, uh, just a really well balanced steel. Good. And that costs about what? Uh, it would be 145 Great. Well, that's, that's a good deal. This one here is beautiful. We're excited about this one too. Yeah. So a large fixed blade from Shane Seibert who we collaborate with. So have you ever seen any Shane Seibert's work? Which would be include the Damas family, the Bushcrafter, just big, overbuilt, robust knives. And uh, that's his style. What's so, the product name? What's the name? This of is it? a 119 Arvensis. 119 Arvensis. Yep. So features a big chunk of 154 cm steel, as you can see, full tang all the way to the end. Uh, G10 handle scales pressed in with titanium tubing. So basically, titanium tubes that have been pressed are what hold, are what holding the handle in. How many inches is that blade? Is it about six? Good question. It's about closer to six, yeah, yeah, yeah. approximately. Um, but the big, I mean, aside from this being an awesome knife that has a lot of utility in the outdoor situations and survival situations, it's the sheath that really helps make this guy shine. So the sheath features multiple carry options. As you can see, we have lots of strap loops for uh, molly, for um, malice clips. It also comes with this patented clip that. Uh, features basically you can mount it in any direction you want in addition just close it and mount it to your belt great and that costs about what uh, the 119 will be approximately 200 to 215 all right there you on go the configuration. I wanted to bring Benchmade to you my name is Tom from weapons education I thank Derek, Derek Tom, thank good, you good job and I'm a huge Benchmade lover it's it's I'm a huge blade lover and Benchmade is my, pretty much my favorite Awesome, Tom. And good job. Thank you. Please subscribe. Tom from WeaponsEducation.com. Bye-bye. Awesome. Good job. Thank you, Tom.